Get our brains ready to read the story, Friends Bike to the Zoo. Before we read, we'll review the letter sounds and words that appear in the story. Check your learning body. Your back is straight, your eyes are looking at the screen, and your finger is ready to point. We already know that the vowels in the alphabet are A, E, I, O, and U. Touch the vowels when I touch them. A, E, I, O, and U. Vowels can make different sounds. Last week, we learned about long A. We already know that short A says ah. Touch the letter when I make the sound. Ah. Ah. Short A says ah. We learned last week that long A says a. Do you see the line above the A? The line means the vowel says its name. A. Remember, that's called a long vowel. Long A says a because there's a line above its name. Long vowels say their names. Touch the letter when I make the sound. A. Long A says a. Let's keep going. We're going to learn a new long vowel sound today. We already know that short I says i. Touch the letter when I make the sound. I. Today, we'll learn that long I says I. Do you see the line above I? That line means the vowel says its name. I. Remember, this is called a long vowel. Long vowels say their names. Touch the letter when I make the sound. I. I. Long I says I. Okay, let's try it with a couple different letters now. I'm going to say a letter sound. Point to the letter that makes that sound. Make sure that your finger is ready to touch the screen when I say a letter sound. Are you ready? Here we go. Get your finger ready. G. G. G says G. Here's your next sound. Get your finger ready to point. I. Long I says I. Get ready for the next sound. Z. Z. Z says Z. Here's your last sound. Get your finger ready to point. A. A. Long A says A. Nice work. Let's move on to the next level. I'll say some sounds and you blend the sounds together to find the word that I make. Look at the screen. Listen to the sounds I make. Get your finger ready to touch the word. Are you ready? Mm, I k. Touch m mm, I k. Mm, I k, Mike. Listen. Get your finger ready to touch the word. Touch t i m. Time. Touch k a n. K a n. Cane. Great job blending the sounds together. We have two more words and then we'll move on to the next level. I'll say some sounds. You blend the sounds together to find the word they make. Your eyes are looking at the screen, your ears are listening, and your fingers are ready to touch the word. Listen. Touch line. 
Line. Line. Touch. Kite. Kite. Great job blending your words. Let's start pounding some of our words out now. Remember, when we're pounding out these words, there's four letters, but there's only three sounds. Remember, there's four letters, but only three sounds. Use the sounds you've learned to pound out some words. I'll say a word, and you pound it out. Touch the red, touch the red circles for each sound. Ready? I'll show you what the first one looks like. Cape. K. A. P. Now I'll say a word. I'm going to give you some time to touch and say the circles on your own. Then I'll come in in a second and help you if you need help. Pound out the word cage. Cage. K. A. J. Here's your next word. Listen to the word, then pound out the word by touching the red circles. I'll come in in a second to help if you need it. Pound out bite. Bite. B. I. T. You have two more words. Keep up the great work. Pound out the word dine. D I N. Last word. Pound out the word page. P A J. Great job pounding out your words. We're ready to read some words now. Use the sounds and letters that you learned in this lesson to read the words. When my yellow arrow touches a word, read it out loud. If you need some help, I'll come in in a few seconds to help you. Ready? Read the word that the yellow arrow touches. Bike. Read the word that the yellow arrow touches. Lime. Read the word that the yellow arrow touches. Pipe. Great job. We have three more words to read. Remember, use the sounds and letters you learned to read these words. Page. Tap. Cage. Beautiful work reading your words. Let's move on to our sight words. Sight words are tricky because you can't sound them out. You have to remember what they look like. These are our review words. We learned them last week. Read the word when the yellow arrow touches it. Look at the screen. Get your voice ready to read the word. If you're not sure what the word is, I'll come in and help you in a few seconds. Read the word. Friend. Read the word. Have. Read the word. Eat. Read the word. Hello. Nice job practicing your review sight words. Now we're going to learn some new sight words. Sight words are tricky because you can't sound them out. You have to remember what they look like. These are our new sight words. I'll read the words out loud, out loud, and then you'll practice reading the words too. The first thing we'll do is just practice touching these words. Look at the screen and get your finger ready to touch the words. Touch there. Touch into. 
touch jumps. Touch friends. Touch zoo. Touch then. Touch funny. Touch jump. Touch this. Beautiful, nice work. Now I'm going to point to the words. When I point to the words, I want you to read the word out loud. If you need some help, I'll come in in a few seconds to help you. Ready? Get your mouth ready to read the words when the yellow arrow points to them. Funny. There. Jump. Into. Friends. This. Jumps. Zoo. Great job practicing your sight words. You got your brain so ready to read. Let's work on reading the first page of our story, Friends Bike to the Zoo. Say the words when I touch them with the arrow. If you need some help, I'll be in in a couple seconds to help you. Read the words as the yellow arrow touches them. Friends bike to the zoo. Ready? Here's the first page of your story. I want you to say, your, say the words I'll be in in a couple seconds if you need some help. If you had some trouble reading, you can read along with me this time. Here I go. Dane and Jane go to the zoo. They ride bikes. They go with a friend, Mike. Dane and Jane have red bikes. Mike has a red bike too. They get to the zoo. They jump off the bikes. They go into the zoo. Thanks so much for your hard work during this lesson. You're a champion reader.